Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for coming back. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much for being here. Let us see what is the guided love message, love reading for you, Sagittarius. Thank you guys for your support. Let us see what's happening towards you in love, relationship, dating, and getting to know, okay? This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is valid. This is this reading for today, Sagittarius. This is a love message. And this is valid for a month. Okay? Let's see what's coming towards you. We will pick up love, relationship, dating, and getting to know intuitive message for you. If I will pick up a new love interest, I will let you know. What, ooh, look at that. You've got the death card. We'll be looking into the past, the current energies. And the future of this connection. What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? What's the guided love message? Love reading for you guys, okay? What is the message for Sagittarius, please? What can I get for the Sagittarius, please? Okay, all right. Okay, guys, let's start the reading. So you're starting the reading, Sagittarius, with the death card. You've got the death card. You have the death card. You've got the eight of pentacles, and you've got the hermit card in here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with... You could be dealing with someone at work, like the romantic person that you're dealing with. It's connected to work. It's connected to business. And you've got the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, there's a lot of professional vibe, professional energy. I'm picking up with your reading, Sagittarius. So, you've got the death card in here. I don't know why I'm hearing the word, get out of my way. It feels like... Um, the way you look at love and relationship and dating and getting to know, there's a part of you that you're delaying me or maybe this is something like a business and pleasure. You know, you met them at work or you're working together for some of you guys. Or for some of you, you could be really working on, like you're kind of embarking on a special project, business project that somehow you're telling yourself love get out of my way or something to do with you want to have romance but there's a part of you that if it's a bad romance no thank you very much like you want someone inspiring because you've got the death card the eight of pentacles so and then you've got the hermit card in here you definitely learned a lot of lesson from the past with the hermit card like if a person will just cause drama or will delay you you will simply tell them get out of my way because i'm a sagittarius i need to i need to be famous <laughs> i need to grind i need to hustle i need to be a sagittarius get out of my way you know you're blocking my creativity you're blocking my fame you're blocking my abundance get out of my way if you will not inspire me if you will not give me a clean loving faithfully kind of romance get out of my way because you've learned so much you know the hermit card you don't want drama you just want a simple romance take it or leave it you know you want someone loyal someone present you know most specifically that you know that energy when i say that word you just simply want someone who is present consistent and loyal and available for you to marry you don't have to share it you know there's a part of you that you want that as simple as that no drama 
because I'm also picking up a very strong, you've got some business creative magic to do. You've got some, you've got something going on. Okay. Because this eight of pentacles is in the middle. It's really in my face telling me Sagittarius needs to have a romance, a person that will inspire them. If it's dark, if it's a bad romance, get out of my way. So you're very, very disciplined in the way you come into the reading, Sagittarius. Yeah, the Page of Swords. You're very picky. Look at that. If you look at the Page of Swords, you look at every details, every small details. And here, the Page of Swords. There's something in your reading where if the first, I don't know, but if, they're, if the very basic is not there, what's the point? You know, if the very basic communication is not being met with a page of swords in here, if the very basic communication of back and forth, steady, easy, consistent, it's not being met, then get out of my way. That's the vibe, page of swords. But something tells me if you're not a good romance, if your communication is inconsistent, ghosting, then yeah, you would, there's a word, there's a word. Um, I was just about to say it. Yet yeah, of swords. And you also don't like people who is indecisive. With, with the hermit card in here, because the hermit card, in here, it speaks to me that you've learned the lessons in here. You've learned the lessons so much. Because from page two of swords, this is one, two. I mean, how many times would you make a mistake? One, two, three, four to the 10th power. So that's a part of you. I went through, I went through that pattern sign. Like I, I, I have already experienced that good in the beginning and then it fizzled out. Inconsistent. You're not inspiring me. You're a bad romance. No, thank you very much. You've learned the lesson. Some For some of you guys, you've learned it the hard way. Sagittarius. Yeah. Oof. Look at that. Hermit card, hermit card. This is you. You've learned the hard way. For some of you guys. Your, the lesson from the past is now your guide. You're using the wisdom from the love romance in the past to guide you. The failure is guiding you. You know, something tells me that you're guiding yourself and your reference is your experience in the past. Sagittarius. Okay? Now let's see who is coming towards you. Who is connecting towards you. You know what? I would say... You know this Knight of Swords? This is a very stubborn person. They're also very passionate. Um, they're stubborn, but they also believe that they're stubborn because of you. <laughs> Look at the Knight of Swords. Look at the color of their clothes. It is red. And then if you look at the Knight of Swords, if you look at their surroundings, it's white and it's blue. So it, 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 it gives me a vibe that they're peaceful, but when it comes to you, you can trigger them to be something different, something so passionate, or you can trigger, you know, it, it feels like you and this person, the person that we're connecting with, you can trigger each other the worst and the best. Like they can bring out the best and the worst of you. Okay. That's probably why you have the death card in the eight of pentacles, because when you're in love, you're inspired because you have a muse. But when you fight with this person or things are fizzling out or up in the air, it also distracts you from your business, from your day-to-day, -day, from your objective. So somehow, the kind of relation, the, 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 your relationship, your love relationship, it affects your, your motivation, your personal, your professional, Sagittarius in here. Because I really feel like the Hermit card, you're still studying. Like you're still studying to, okay, yep, I had a heartbreak here, but business as usual. So there's a part of you that, because there's a little bit of business in here, or work, ambition. 
you know, because there's a part of you that you're not just a Sagittarius who's, you know, um, who would give in, what's what that word? You know, sometimes we lose ourselves in the process of falling in love. Sometimes we tend to lose ourselves in the process of falling in love. Um, I honestly feel like that's one of your lessons in here, and that's what's your, that is what you're trying to um, to teach yourself. Don't lose yourself in the process of falling in love. Okay. Now this person, somehow you guys mirror each other. That when you, most especially if you're in a relationship, when you fight, it it affects everything. If this is like you know, an on and off or an ex or maybe dating and getting to know, I tell you, this person is very, very passionate with you. Nine of Cups, you guys are very adventurous. Your combination is like best friend. You can be best friend. You could be, you could be business partner, best friends and lovers. But if you mix it together, it can really, you know, create a catalyst of, you know, of outcome or output so if you're so in love expect the business to be blooming if things are not okay it, it goes down like in a general collective whoever this person is it's high super high and low up down like it's so hard to get a gray area with like steady slow like it's always high and low because you put the magician card like this is hyper I would say this is this person, like, I mean, this is the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Magician card. They're manifesting you. There's someone in the next three to four weeks. It's hyper love. Like when this person is on, it's really on. It's hot, 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 hot and spicy. This is like spicy kind of connection. This person, Sagittarius. Mm. See, when they're on, they see you tomorrow, they call you, you see them again. You do a lot of, you know, couple, couple things together, but things could fizzle out in a snap. This is a very hyper kind of love. And this is what this person is bringing to you. Hyper. You would date, you would eat, sleep, repeat. Then magician card, they're manifesting that you accept them. This is manifesting you, whoever this person is. It's a hyper kind of love, Sagittarius. Yeah, the will of fortune. And not only that, you know what? Sagittarius, this person, they've got money. Whoever this person is, they've got money. They've got time. They're very spontaneous. But they also have a lot of things that could distract them. So imagine a person who's very spontaneous and very inspired to live their life. It's like you. They could be distracted. Like it's hard to get. Like the, the problem and the block with this person is it's hard to maintain them in one's sitting They've got something going on. There's still some, I would say, whoever this person is, they're such a good lover. They're such a good person, very passionate, very adventurous. But there's still some sort of open tabs in their life that they kind of need to complete. Because I'm seeing here, something is hidden. Look at that, that, that baby red dragon. Something is hidden. They're hiding something that they're working on. And it's affecting your connection. But I see, I see this person hyper love connecting with you. Like love bomb you. It's like this. It When it rains, it pours. And then two of swords, it fizzle out. I'm seeing this happening again. I'm seeing this person come into your life, shower you with a lot of romance, attention, then they, could, they will be gone. Because there's an open tab. Open tab. I'm kind of picking up the word open tab. Yeah, the king of swords hot and cold they would still bring with you the hot and cold energy it could trigger you to be mad to be angry or to tell this person like you know you're delaying me again seven of wands i'm seeing like a repeat for four months in here sagittarius let's see how are we going to counter that because i'm really i'm picking up like seven of wands you they will shower you with text and call attention they will love bomb you, you know, lots of call, lots of attention, passionate, amazing. And then it will go, it, they will go on into being cold. It will fizzle out again. And this is you. I see you getting angry or upset or disappointed because you let them in, you entertain them, you warm them up. And as you take off to the next level, they disappear. Seven of Wands. Look at that. 
they will disappoint you again. Like I'm kind of pick, picking up like a person that will disappoint you again. Yeah. Look at that. The five of swords. After they get your attention, after they get your attention, their love, after they, after they feel romance or connected with you, look at them. Five of swords. They go away and tongue out. Look at that. And you're busy. Seven of wands. You're busy with them. Because they, they did it again. And I'm seeing this person comes back again. I'd say you're manifesting them. Like this person will come and take over. Like this person will come and take over your life. Romantic passion. Shower you a lot. Shower, shower you with a lot of love, gifts, feelings. I see you giving in. And then they could disappear. And then after that, you'll be busy. Seven of Wands. And then you've got the full card and the four of pentacles. You're manifesting this person to come back. But the way you manifest this person, you've got the four of pentacles. You're manifesting them to come back and somehow reject. There's already, there's a buildup of bitterness. There's a buildup of frustration in here between the two of you. There's a buildup of not good energy. But you guys are very passionate. You're very, very compatible. Like, you're very compatible if your person choose to be consistent. Okay, let's get some advice. You see the sun card. You know what? Stay friends. That's the answer. If you are, if a person connects with you and you know that this person tendency is highs and lows, passionate and this and that, it builds up expectation because it's so good you want to keep it and it makes you comfortable it makes you confident that they're going to stay they're going to marry me but that's passion and romance it fizzle out and you're such a i cannot say the word because i might be censored but you're such an s for that you know that kind of you know burning hot kind of flame hot spicy sagittarius so I pulled an advice, you know, I I pulled one card to get advice and the universe is telling, is telling you that when this person comes, don't fall into the same pattern. Just relax. Just stay friends. I mean, it's a reading where I'll be specific. You know, do not do coupling unless it's official. So don't hold back don't overdo it like don't overdo it if you're not in a relationship and you're not officially together do not do coupling couple things if you're kind of dating or getting to know if they flirt you flirt what they give you you receive you give it back the sun card equal don't expect just go with the flow nothing to expect yeah eight of pentacles Stay, stay in the continuous flow. Just be friends. Don't expect. So it doesn't hurt you. Just, you know, if they tell you they miss you, that's it. You said, you tell them you miss them. Like what they give you, you give it back. If they call you, you call them back. If they text you, you text them back. You just give what is needed in the situation. No expectation, nothing more, nothing less. So you don't get hurt and you go with the flow. Because there's a part of you that you're overthinking. Okay, what's going to happen? I'm so excited. Okay, they called me. You know, it's romanticizing excitement. It puts a bit of pressure. What's next? What's next? What's next? I'm expecting for more. You just stay relaxed. The sun card, I always find the sun card neutral. Friendship. If they flirt, you flirt. If they show feelings, you show feelings. Whatever you feel organically, show it. No control. Not over, not under. Just the right flow of burning fire. Like, just the right amount of passion. Not too much. Not too... Just give what it's needed. You're not together. Don't sleep together. You know? Don't go casual. Because you expect. You know, something in here. Like, ground. Grounded. A very grounded, humbled kind of connection. That's the answer. So this is your reading, Sagittarius. 
Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. Private reading and the merchandise. Everything is processed in the website. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.